as, as someone who came up in the, you know, uh, anti-Vietnam War era and uh, did see the evacuation uh, from Saigon, maybe not in first person, but uh, on television. Um, and now we have another, um, the longest war in American history next to Vietnam and a Saigon-like situation that, you know, many people say was avoidable. I personally very much disagree with whether it was avoidable or not. Mm -hmm. But what has been just, I know this is a really broad question, but like, what's been going through your mind and how did you first react, you know, last week when we found out that, you know, the Taliban had indeed taken back control um, of that country? Well, you know, it's not a good moment for anybody. Uh, but it, this country, and especially the political class and the chattering class, the media class, the mainstream media class, Mm -hmm. I mean, the lack of uh, the short attention span, the lack of self-reflection. I mean, here, everyone's writing about the spectacle of the last few days. Mm -hmm. This country has, Afghanistan has been at war for 40 years. This country has been uh, decimated. The numbers of people killed, maimed, wounded, and there's no reflection or little reflection about the role that the United States played in that well before the United States invaded after 2001. Oh, yeah. Going back to its support for the Mujahideen, for the, those forces during the period of the Soviet intervention. Right. And it, it is really, in that way, it's very similar to what I felt on April 30th, 1975, when I was in front of the South Vietnamese embassy, which was then being closed in San Francisco, where everyone was talking about the scene in Saigon, mm -hmm. uh, when the last Vietnam had been in war for 50 years, for 40 years before that. Mm -hmm. since, since the uh, World War II, for, you know, the independent struggle before then. Mm -hmm. And again, the country had been ruined, Agent Orange, the numbers of Vietnamese killed, the numbers of Americans killed much higher in Vietnam than in Afghanistan, but still uh, high in Afghanistan. Yes. And little reflection about what lessons you could learn from that and what the what uh, the U.S. power had done, and just an amazing degree of self-centeredness yeah. in this country, and an inability to put ourselves in the shoes of the people who live in, lived in Vietnam then, or the people who lived in Afghanistan now. Right. Um, why, did the, why do the U.S. wars end this way? Do, does anyone really want to discuss this? Uh, <laughs> Instead of discussing uh, who's to blame right now, did Biden do this, did Biden do that, and everyone has their axe to grind, uh, people who didn't care a whit about the Afghan people, women, men, or any children or anyone who was Afghan for 40 years, all of a sudden are the posing as the big humanitarians who are just, oh, they're so heartbroken that this terrible thing is happening in Kabul. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, there are people who are, who are suffering, who are trying, who want to get out. Uh, the same people who are saying the most about how terrible it is and what Biden did wrong, et cetera, et cetera. They're not saying that we should open the United States to all uh -huh. the Jews who want to come. Mm -hmm. They're saying the opposite. So yeah. it, it's 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 not a happy moment. They, there's nothing happy about this moment. Uh, yeah. There, you know, uh, I mean, it's a hit to U.S. global power. I mm -hmm. guess that's a good thing. Silver lining. Uh, mm -hmm. But. You know, but uh, not if we don't lear learn the lesson, <laughs> right? Not, not if we continue. Yeah. Not if we continue down this path. The lack of historical perspective, empathy, uh, 
uh, here we are in in a con we're connected all over the world uh, by the internet and other travel modern travel and so on and it's in some ways this is the most provincial country on the face of the planet mm -hmm. but there's nothing more american than blithely refusing to learn from your mistakes <laughs> yeah. so you know it's like this is just this is just classic american behavior of yeah. just knee-jerk reaction now and learn nothing and then continue, continue, continue. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.